losing contact with a snowball. A skier starts at the top of a very large, frictionless snowball with a very small initial speed and skis straight down the side, you can see in the figure. At what point does she lose contact with the snowball and fly off at a tangent? This is at the instant she loses contact with the snowball. Uh, that, uh, what angle alpha does a radial line from the center of the snowball to the skier make with the vertical? So that is to say at the instant we lose contact, what will be the angle with respect to the vertical axis. So I noticed that at the beginning, uh, we have just a very small uh, initial speed, but we're at a distance, uh, capital R, from uh, the horizontal. So let's say that this is the horizontal level or our reference level for potential energy. So we can say that uh, initially, we are at the height of capital R, the radius. The final height uh, where we lose contact uh, will be this height. So um, you can see that this will correspond to uh, R cosine alpha. So this will be uh, so let's get rid of this R. So this will be R multiplied with cosine alpha. And our initial height is R. So H final is R cosine alpha. So the change in potential energy of the skier will be final potential energy minus initial potential energy, which is mg r cosine alpha minus mg r, which is mg r parentheses cosine alpha minus one. And I note that this is a frictionless snowball, so since the coefficient of kinetic friction is zero here, the change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy, that is the change in the mechanical energy, should be equal to zero, so that the change in kinetic energy will be equal to minus the change in potential energy. So with a very small initial speed, V0 is approximately zero, we have the change in kinetic energy to be equal to one half m v final square, because one half m v initial square is approximately zero. So this must be equal to minus the change in potential energy, which will be m g r, 1 minus cosine alpha because of the uh, minus sign here. Okay, so that's what energy conservation uh, gives us. And so if I multiply uh, this equation by 2, I find um, m v final square is equal to 2mgr 1 minus cosine alpha and uh, this gives me m v final square over r is equal to 2mg 1 minus cosine alpha. Okay, now uh, I'm going to look for the centripetal force, mv square over r, at the point we lose contact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a free body diagram at point 
C. All right. So I see that uh, we have the weight of the skier pointing down. So um, at point C, the weight of the skier is pointing down. And this has a component on the radial axis. And there should normally be a normal force uh, on the radial axis. And this is the uh, R hat direction. So this is my R hat. Okay, so in the free body diagram, I will show uh, the weight of the skier pointing down. And uh, because this angle is alpha, this angle is alpha. So the radial axis here will make an angle alpha with respect to the weight of the skier. And this is actually, uh, or let's show it here, this direction is actually R hat direction. Okay. So uh, the other thing is if you have a physical contact between the snowball and uh, the skier, there should be a normal force here. But uh, the normal force is equal to uh, zero because we're losing contact at this point, all right? So with that, the net radial force will be equal to minus mg cosine alpha minus, because it's pointing in minus r hat direction, which is equal to minus mv final square uh, divided by r. So that, that's our centripetal force. So if we substitute this result for mv square over r here, mv square over r is mg cosine alpha. This is equal to 2mg 1 minus cosine alpha. mg's will cancel. And I will find that 2 minus 2 cosine alpha is equal to cosine alpha or cosine alpha is equal to 2 over 3 which means alpha is cosine inverse 2 over 3 and that gives us 48.2 degrees as the critical angle where the skier will lose contact with the snowball as she skis down. All right. So we have a snowball, uh, it's a very large snowball. At the top of the snowball, there's a very small initial speed for the skier. This is a frictionless surface. Uh, the skier skis right down the side and we want to know at what angle with the vertical axis uh, does she lose contact with the snowball and fly at a tangent. So um, that's the point where we lose contact and the normal force from the snowball will approach zero. Because we have no friction in the system, mechanical energy must be conserved. Uh, so delta K plus delta U is zero. Initial height is R. Final height is R cosine alpha. So MGR cosine alpha minus MGR is change in potential energy. Because the initial speed is very small, we, we neglect the initial kinetic energy. Final kinetic energy is one half and the final square. So uh, with that, we obtain an equation for MV final square over R as 2mg1 minus cosine alpha. If I look at free body diagram of the skier at point C, there is the weight of the skier pointing down and the normal force is becoming zero because we're losing contact. So mg cosine alpha is pointing towards the center, which is mv square over r. So if we substitute for mv square over r mg cosine alpha, cosine alpha becomes 2 over 3, giving us an angle, a critical angle of 48.2 degrees.